What's going on, Quantum Nation? Welcome back. My name is Quantum, and today we're going to be testing the peak brightness of the Sony X950H. The picture mode, as you guys see, is custom for Pro 2. The light sensor is turned off. The brightness is maxed out. The contrast is also maxed out. Auto local dimming is set to high to make sure that if there's any blooming or whatever, this is what it is. Extended Dynamic Range Pro is also set to high. And it is in the coolest color temperature possible to drive the maximum amount of peak brightness. So we're going to start with the 2% window stimulus. You can find this in the testing material playlist here on the channel. And we've got a peak knit range of 1022 on a 2% window stimulus. Now it dropped down to 971 and it's plummeting fast, now 970. So again, it's not holding peak knits very well at all, as you guys can clearly see as the number does go down on that 2% window stimulus. Now we're checking out the 10% window stimulus. Again, this is SDR, not HDR. And I am using the X-Rite i1 Display Pro Colorimeter and Spectrophotometer. We are looking at 900 and it was like 69, and now it's dropping down to 968 on a 10% window stimulus. So it's not terrible, it's doing okay so far. We'll see how it continues to hold. It is still plummeting, so it doesn't hold that very long, but it's still long enough that you'll get an impact out of high bright, or bright highlights of small highlights. 25% uh, window stimulus. I was literally caught between trying to say 25% window stimulus and trying to go on to my next train of thought. Had a brain melt there. Um, so now we're looking at 791, 92. It actually goes up here. And that's impressive for a 25% window stimulus, which is a bit of a wider coverage of the screen, as you guys can clearly see. So not bad there. Um, uh, you know, it could be higher, but, you know, we'll take it. For a 50% window stimulus, we are looking at 572. Now it's going up to 73. So it's not exactly bright once you get to the larger windows. But, again, we can kind of expect that. Doesn't really seem like Sony tried a whole lot to increase the peak brightness or anything like that to a dramatic degree from last year. So, you know, to be noted. Um, now, let's look at our 100% window stimulus, just to make sure that we're in the good here. And the whole screen covered. And again, just to make sure you guys know, I'm using the X-Rite i1 Display Pro Color Meter and Spectrophotometer. I'm not sponsored or anything, just letting you know the tool that I'm using to achieve these results. And I have... 598 now it's 597 back to 598 so i'll just call it 598 um not terrible it's not terrible it could be better but hey that's pretty strong for you know i guess sony's offering here um so that's pretty much it those are the results i hope you guys uh enjoyed this hope it finds you well i want to thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty uh leave your questions comments and concerns down below and uh until the next video I'll see you guys later.